Hey, my tight curly girlies. Welcome to another week, another wash hour. My name is Nicole, your tight curly natural hair encourager, wearer, enthusiast, here to share my hair journey with you. I started a 30 day hair detox by I Am Black Girl Curls in January of 2021. I really liked um, being in season curls when I was because it helped me master my wash and go set. So now I can just branch off and try my own different product combos and things that I already knew before I did the detox. Like I knew how to style my hair, but I didn't know how to make it elongated and defined in a wash and go in less than two hours every week. And I never thought that would be my main go-to hairstyle week after week. So I want to share some of the techniques and things that I've learned with you. I want to share different combinations, different makeup, different skincare, different recipes, just all kinds of different um um avenues of my creativity i'm a seamstress i also love to sew i love to cook i love to bake i love to do makeup brows are my favorite blushes i love skin care and so i like to share all those different things with you as a content creator through my channel so thank you for being here watching liking subscribing and if you want to see what product combo that y'all voted on on my IG broadcast channel for this week. Stay tuned. I'm so happy you're still here. So if you want to support ways to support my content, go to adornbynicole.com and join my newsletter. You'll get a free um, product guide and you'll also get um, weekly um, newsletters that have the replay of my Instagram lives that I do where I just chat with you all and as I rake and smooth my hair. I also would like you to join my IG broadcast channel um, to be able to one, um, help me choose my product combos every week. And that's also a lot of times the first place I share new discount codes and things that I get from brands and news. I also want you to look at the caption the description box i put affiliate links there that when you shop through them i am able to earn commission all content creation isn't just us getting free products and brands paying us brand deals aren't as common as you would think and so being able to earn commission through affiliate links um, is helpful and it also helps to show the brand that i am driving my audience to action that y'all are interested in the things that i share um, the products that I recommend that you trust me, which I do appreciate all for that. And so, yeah, even just clicking the links is showing that I'm driving traffic that way. So just consider that, you know, with the, and let me know if you got any questions about the business of content creation. Yeah, I've been doing this for about two years now and I'm, I'm loving it. So I also, look, I got a new Felicia. I got her purple this time. I'm still gonna keep my old one because I think she's good for, even though she's bent a little bit, like my blowouts and stuff, that's how she got bent in the first place. Um, and I'll just, you have this one for like my wash and goes and more curly styles. So the combo that y'all voted on today. I also have a layering guide, yeah, that I created. It has like 12 plus combos plus a detailed video. Um, for my my wash day if y'all are working on your wash day routine want to know how much of each product that i use how to you know saturate and elongate your hair and i've also pre-recorded um over seven or over ten videos on my patreon so you can go over there and watch those to see different um, product combinations and the technique for doing a one product wash and go with i create hold for using i create definition for i think i have one over there for pattern beauty curl mousse and so just a few showing more detail into my wash day technique from shampooing to styling. Mostly out here, I just show y'all my style. So, Uncle Funky's daughter is what y'all voted for. I create hold and then the bamboo ginseng mousse. So last week I used the curling glaze, so this week I'm gonna use the mousse. So, one of the things about this, book not that it's a mousse styler or that it's a clean mousse styler, but it has the same anti-humidity, anti-frizz properties as the glaze. So um, I live in a humid climate, so anti-humidity, anti-frizz toppers are like my mainstay that help my sets to have more longevity. 
um, staving off, you know, the frizz and things that naturally are just in the air, in the environment. So I will be putting this on last to get the full benefit of that anti-humidity, anti-frizz um, aspect of this because we choose products over here very mindfully. So um, also because this is a foam, I usually apply all my products and distribute them, right? My plan is to add the UFD, add the I create hold on top of it, distribute that, then quadrant by quadrant add the foam just because of, you know, the properties of foam. They usually tends to dry quicker and I don't want to add it to my whole head and it just like make my set weird, like where I'm going to have to add water to get it back to being malleable and all. I'm just, we're not doing that, okay? Make very mindful, okay? So the finished result can, you know, be very demure very cutesy okay so this is the main new thing that I'm using this week and so I'm gonna go cleanse my hair condition my hair detangle with my new Felicia Leatherwood brush I'm gonna put the link up here for y'all and I come back out here and do my uh, product application for eye curl hold and the mousse and then style Here is how I apply the bamboo ginseng mousse for my wash and go set this week. So usually I'll apply all of my products, distribute it through my hair, and then rake and smooth through my hair section by section. But since I'm using a mousse this week, I decided to apply the mousse to each section right before I raked and smoothed it because I didn't know how quick drying the mousse would be. And I would hate to apply it all over my head and then it kind of start to dry on me. So I apply the mousse to each quadrant. Then I parted my hair with my fingers and used Felicia to help me smooth and rake my hair per usual. This is my hair before going under the hooded hair dryer for an hour. Let me get y'all a close up. This is what we're what we're starting with. And put your curls where you want them to be under the dryer. Okay. Smooth that in a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't leave like a crusty crusty. Sleek your edges, you know, if you want to. I didn't do anything extra this time. Just use the product on my hair already just to smooth it a little bit and so I will show you what it looks like when it's dry. Ta-da! So this is the result of my set. I did about, I don't like how that looks. It looks kind of weird with that highlight and then that big chunk right there. One hour under my hooded hair dryer. Now after I came out from under the dryer it was still pretty damp at the roots and uh, I want to tell you the bamboo ginseng mousse did soften the hold a lot of the eye create hold that i'm used to having when i use the eye create hold with other anti-humidity anti-frizz toppers 
so it definitely does affect the initial feeling of um, the hold it still has a cast but it's not as like a crunchy of a hold I also had to uh, I felt it necessary to go right in and dry my roots with a Dyson because sometimes if with certain combinations if I leave it to just dry throughout the day it's like the moisture will just like spread throughout the rest of my dry hair let me know if that's ever happened to you so I just felt from my experience with the way and it's still just very lightly damp at the roots but I went in with the Dyson to give it a little extra help really getting the dry the drying to the roots of my hair so you can see here like you can still see that's like a little bit of dampness but it's very very light um and then here you know definition from ends to roots right that's what we like so this is how we're starting out i like the finish i like the elongation i like the volume after going in and drying my hair i should have shown you my hair before i dried it and after my after i dried it but when you go on with the dyson and hit the roots of course it lifts them a little bit it helps um you know you dry them like this so it gives it, it gives it some lift with the drying so thank you so much for watching liking subscribing put any questions of course that you have in the comments and i will try my best to answer them and then i will also make the effort to document how this set holds up this week look at the movement did y'all see my video about maybe i should put it here my video about why why i prefer to rake and smooth someone asked that question i thought it was a great question i was like why do i rake and smooth it's awesome um the the method um to, of, of doing it because it's the quickest most efficient way for me to separate my curls give them separation um, and give them movement right instead of just, just being like one defined lump then now we see individual curls and spaces some people's hair can do that without the raking and smoothing just because of the essential elements of their hair but for me the best way i find to get my hair defined like this is raking and smoothing so i will see you on the next video thank you so much for being here for watching liking subscribing sharing saving commenting and i'll see you next time bye